Hey guys, let's resume our discussion on bleeding and coagulation disorders. In the previous video, we have talked about bradykinin. Today, I have a great mnemonic about bradykinin, the son of its mother, the high molecular weight kininogen, and this great midwife, plasma colicrin, which brought him to the world. This could happen when you have lots of bradykinin floating in the plasma. This is called angioedema, swelling of structures in your face and neck. And it could be an emergency. Why? Because your airways are in the neck. With that being said, now let's get started. As you know, bradykinin comes from the high molecular weight kinogen. High molecular weight kinogen activates factor 12 and factor 11 of the intrinsic coagulation pathway. Calicrin also activates factor 12, which returns the favor by activating pre calicrin into calicrin. Calicrin also activates or releases bradykinin from the tyranny of the high molecular weight kininogen. Calicrin kinin system. What does bradykinin do? Contract the smooth muscles, the non vascular smooth muscles to be specific. Increased vessel permeability can lead to angioedema. Increased pain, the chronic pain due to chronic inflammation. Increased naturesis and vasodilation both lead to hypotension. But where is the mnemonic? Wait, honey, good things happen to those who wait. Colicrin kinin system. If you're in the plasma, if you're in the tissue, you can end up with a kinin either way. Yes, you can get all of my hematology cases by going to Patreon. Don't miss on these vignettes because they are just awesome. Calicrin helps bring bradykinin into existence. ACE hates calicrin and its guts. When you are using ACE inhibitors, you are inhibiting ACE and increasing bradykinin, leading to dry cough, leading to angioedema and natriuresis hypotension due to vasodilation. By inhibiting the formation of angiotensin 2, also you have hypotension, you have renal impairment, low sodium, high potassium and high hydrogen, hyperkalemia and acidosis. All of these are side effects of the ACE inhibitors such as enalapril. Here are again the side effects of ACE inhibitors. They are highlighted here. Dry cough, angioedema, hypotension, renal impairment, natriuresis, acidosis, hyperkalemia. And also add nausea, vomiting, diarrhea because what the... Here is the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Renin converts angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1. ACE converts angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 is attached to the receptor, having two main functions vasoconstriction of arterioles, aldosterone release. Here is kind of a visual mnemonic or a visual illustration for you bronchoconstriction, dry cough, increased vessel permeability leading to angioedema, natriuresis leading to hypotension, vasodilation leading to hypotension pain, especially the chronic pain, and here you have angioedema, which is an emergency. Don't ever forget that. Let me ask you a question. If you have a kid who has hereditary angioedema, should you give him ACE inhibitors? Never! You'll be an idiot if you do this. ACE inhibitors are contraindicated for patients with hereditary angioedema. Why? Because ACE inhibitors will increase bradykinin leading to angioedema. That's why. Bradykinin receptors. Bradykinin has two receptors. We have B1 and guess what? B2. The creativity of these scientists is breathtaking. B1 receptors is responsible for pain, acute or chronic, chronic pain due to chronic inflammation. B2 receptor has two functions, vasodilation and increased vessel permeability, which will lead to two things, pus producing a non-pitting edema as well as angioedema. So, in brief, B1 has one function, which is pain. B2 has two functions, vasodilation and increased permeability, both of which are related to inflammation. And here is the great bradykinin mnemonic of all time. Bradykinin comes from pre calicrin being converted into, guess what, plasma calicrin, not the tissue, the plasma calicrin and it produces pain through the B1 receptor, as you know. And this pain is not acute, it's chronic, it's perpetual. Bradykinin is pro-inflammation, big time. It increases vessel permeability into pus and angioedema, which is perilous, which means high risk. Thank God for the internet. 
the angioedema is bad for the, your upper airway, it can kill you by hypoxia. Bradykine will lead to bronchoconstriction. Big vessel, which means vasodilation. Bradykine will lead to hyponatremia and hypotension. This mnemonic is just amazing. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Get all of my notes and the 50 hematology cases by going to patreon.com forward slash medicosis. Thank you guys for watching. Be safe, stay happy, enjoy the moment. Let me know your opinion in a comment. I'll see you soon.